now Storm Tracker weather with East Idaho's Chief Meteorologist Doug Iverson. Storm Tracker radar satellite together and look off towards the southwest. Yeah, that's a storm, mainly clouds for us, at least into the overnight over the south hills of the Magic Valley. Already can see in some clouds along around Milan City. There's an area of low pressure off central California. Now the path of this low will drive right through southern California into northern Arizona. And the reason why I'm showing you that is all we're really going to see is maybe a couple little clouds from this and that's it. There could be, though, some snow showers that develop around Malad City, Preston, and Montpelier, but that's as far north as it's going to get. So we're going to stay pretty much dry because the storm path for this storm is just a way too far south for us to get in on it. Temperatures right now, it'd be nice to get some warm air from the south. We certainly need it. We're only at three in Island Park. Dregs already down to 11 below, nine below in Afton, three below in Montpelier. We're staying above zero tonight in Lad City. You can thank those clouds for that. 15 right now in Pocatello. American Falls at 17 degrees. Up north, up in Salmon, you're certainly warmer than your neighbors to the southwest. Chalice, you're only at one. Stanley, nine below zero. And overnight, Stanley down to 17 below. And Chalice, you'll be minus four. We'll stay plus five in Salmon, so not quite as cold as some of us. Goose Egg up in Dillon, we'll see that in Island Park, 10 below in Yellowstone, 14 below in Afton, 16 below in Driggs. And then the farther southwest you go, maybe not quite so cold due to some clouds around, enough of a blanket to keep us well above the single digits, at least in the Magic Valley. Now tomorrow, not a very warm day. In fact, if you want a lot of clouds, a lot of gray sky, just head off towards the west. Twin Falls and Burley will be mostly cloudy. Farther north and maybe northeast you go, the more sunshine you'll see. Rexburg at about 22. Uh, Idaho Falls tomorrow, 24. Pocatello, 26 degrees. Still colder than average for this time of year. Future Tracker. What you're seeing here, not too far from Idle Falls, from just west of Rigby, all the way through Jefferson County, low clouds, a little bit of fog. So it's not quite as widespread as it was uh, this morning. So that's what we're looking at tomorrow morning. And then you can see the leading edge of our next storm system. And I say our next because, as I mentioned earlier, Malad City, Preston, Montpelier could get some snow, and that could happen sometime in the afternoon. But again, it's staying just south of Pocatello. So if you want fresh snow, just go south. Yeah, usually... You'd want to go north for the cold and snow, but that won't be the case tomorrow. Seven-day forecast as we look ahead. Thursday, a sunnier day. No doubt a colder start to the morning, too. Friday, finally in the 30s. This weekend, mostly sunny. Our next chance of snow for Pocatello won't be until next Tuesday, so we're a week away. Look at all that sunshine out of Falls. It's just too bad that sunshine can't warm us up. Look at the lows. Minus two tomorrow night. Still in the single digits. Uh, Thursday and Friday night, Rexburg seven day. We got lots of sunshine, and that sunshine will take us into the part of the weekend. We got a mix of sun and clouds Sunday and Monday, and could see some snow showers on Tuesday. Teton area, six below tomorrow night. I know, just way too cold. Of course, we got a lot of snow on the ground, and mostly cloudy on Saturday. And for the Central Mountains, look at that sunshine. Temperatures, though, at night really struggling. Uh, we'll finally be a little bit warmer Sunday night with high temperatures.